Eve inspired you to stain your deck. The secret to a good result is preparation. So Sharon is back now with a one-on-one -on, -one on how to refresh and the correct yes. steps to take. We go through it every season, we but it's to. worth it. Yeah. It's worth it to go through it. Um, let's start with the prep. And you say the prep is going to take longer than the actual It takes longer than the actual staining, right? Yeah. But it's so important. And after you do all that work of staining, you want to make sure it's going to last. Yes. So really important to make sure that your wood is ready to accept the stain. Yes. Right? So you buy a new, you build your new deck and you want to stain it, but you should probably wait a year. You should okay. let the wood naturally weather. But if you're really impatient, then yeah. there's ways you can get around it. But let's just look at this really simple test. And I'm probably going to spill water all over. But just so you see, when you do, see on this side here, okay. it's beading. So that's what you, is that what you want? You don't want that. <laughs> you do not that's want the beading. That's not okay? what you want. You want right. to know that whatever you're using is going to go it's into the wood? It's going to penetrate into the Got wood, it. exactly. Is so this when it's, ready? This is kind of getting there, Ish. but not, not as much as you would like. Okay. So when you're kind of in this situation, Situation, you know that the wood is not quite ready to stain. If you're desperate to do it anyway, you can sand the heck out of it uh, with an 80 grit sandpaper. It's yeah. a lot of work. Or you can use. They're like, no, no, no. Just wait. Yeah, you can use a plot to try and get it down. But you know what? Just try and wait. So now yeah. you've waited a year, and the wood is weathered naturally. But you still have to clean it. You have to make yeah. sure it's clean and ready to accept the stain. So yes. I've got a photo of a typical, you know, two-year-old weathered deck. Yes. So it's not in horrible shape, but that that gunk is going to prevent the stain from sickness. So you got to right. clean it. So take a look at what happens when we use the Restore product and a pressure washer. Ah. Oh my goodness. That gets it right down to that beautiful new beautiful. wood from that deck that you just installed last year. Okay. So now you're ready to stain. But now, before we get into step two, which is check the weather, you need it yes. to be dry. Okay. Right? It needs to be so totally first it has dry. to take it has to be porous enough yes. to take everything you're gonna give it, but it must be dry. But you want it to take your stain on the, the rain, rain right? right? Exactly. Okay, so check the weather. You want a good couple of days of dry weather before you start staining. Right. And if you can trust your weather forecaster for the next couple of days oh. to be dry, <laughs> that would be awesome. But it doesn't always happen. But try yes. that's what the ideal situation, right? Okay. Two days of dry and then two days coming ahead. That's fair. So, so we know that that's going to happen, um, but it's clean, it's dry, you're ready to accept the stain, so now what? Well, you want to make sure it's 100% dry. A couple of things you can do. You can yep. just test it. Tracy just saw me pour water on it, but, you know, just touch it by hand. Okay. You can kind of tell if it's dry enough. Yeah, feel this one. Yeah, it feels wet. It does feel wet. Now, yeah. because this is fairly new pressure-treated wood, uh -huh. so it, when it's new, it's kind of got a wetness in it. So yeah. it's not quite, it's definitely not ready to stain. And just to show you with the moisture meter, because I just love this thing, uh, when you put it into the so wet wood, you plug it in there. Yeah, you just stick it in, and cool. it, it's like your your meat thermometer. Yes. Right. So it's not ready. It's red. <laughs> moisture level is at. So I'm gonna, sh gonna it show you yes. what that looks like. The moisture level is 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 at red. red that means so. it's very moist. Yes. So it's do not. Like it's at nine ten. It's so rare. Don't. <laughs> it's rare. Okay. Don't eat it. This one that's fairly dry. Let's just see. Let's see if it's any better. Oh, you know what? Hang on one. Second there. Is it yeah. even on? There we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. This one's much better. It's much better. But because it's, still, it's on. It's on and it's in the yellow. It's on the yellow. So it's it's okay, but it's still not totally dry enough to stink. Okay. So again, you've waited two days, so you know it's pretty good if you don't have the moisture meter. So you're you're in pretty good shape. Yes. So then you are ready to stain. Okay. Now, before you want to test your color. Got this. Right? Like, yes. So you have to, especially you, if it's a big space. Right? You want to know. Absolutely. And when it's outside and you're talking about wood and you're talking about different opacities, um, the wood's going to make the color look even different. Yes. So here I have a translucent stain. Mm -hmm. Here I have a semi-transparent blue. This is Hamilton blue. Mm -hmm. Here is a solid. This is black. It's nice. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. And then here is just our natural wood. And just a quick little demo. I'll show you. This is a semi-transparent black. Just so you can see how different that semi-transparent is going to look from the solid. Right. Right? So you can see that. So that's why you need to to try it out first. Yeah. And you can buy these little samples of all of the different colors and all of the different solids, um, solid, semi-transparent, translucent in yes. the Arbor Coat. So you can do a little sample somewhere that's not going to be noticeable before you start buying gallons of stain. Is that more than one coat? That is just one coat that's of black stain. That's so amazing. really, really nice. And when you're doing it, because when you actually get to the point where you are going to stain mm -hmm. after all that prep, Really good idea with, with whatever kind you're using to use, if you want to use a roller, because it's a really big deck, yeah. you want to do two or three boards at a time and just try and do the full length of it as you can oh, to avoid okay. lap marks. But then after you've used a roller, especially if you're using a translucent or semi-transparent back brush, 
You know it sounds like a lot of work. Get your kids to go behind you after yes. you're rolling it and just back brush you're going with the grate and you're pushing that product into the wood because that's the most important part. And that and this brush is specifically for that. That is a specific that, stain brush. That's so cool. you can see that it holds a lot of stain. So it yeah. can be messy if you're applying it with yes. the brush. You will get a lot on though, so it's good, but just make sure that the deck um, isn't sort of pooling. You want to make sure that the product is going in. It's, it's going not in. like paint where it sits on top. Okay, so okay. hopefully only one coat. Should just be one Should coat. Just be one coat. If you need a second coat, you want to wait till it's dry. Put the second coat on. If you've used translucent or semi-transparent in the waterborne products, there is a clear coat yeah. that goes on top to just give it ultra UV protection and water protection. But these guys are good to go on their own. How long before you can walk on it? I would wait 48 hours for heavy foot traffic. Got it. Okay. okay. Very good. And there tips. you go. Thank yes. you. Let's go to break.